Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today I'm going to show you how to create drop down menus in Squarespace. It's super quick and easy, so let's just jump right in. Okay, so open up your Squarespace site and this is going to work the same in Squarespace 7.1 as it is in Squarespace 7.0. So I'm just going to show you how to do it in Squarespace 7.1. This is really quick and easy. First, you need to click on pages. Then in your main or primary navigation, click on the plus, click folder, and just adding a folder to your main navigation is gonna instigate a drop down menu. So let's call this blog categories. Obviously you can call it whatever you want. All it is is a title for the folder. Then you can put anything inside this folder. So you can drag pages into it. You can click add a new page, which will just automatically put it in the folder. You can take any pages and put it into the folder. Or what is quite common is to actually just use links. So you can add links to the folder and you can link to any page on your site. So I'm gonna to link to a blog category. If you click on this little cog, you can either link to an external web address, page, email, phone, or file. In this case, I'm gonna to link to a blog category, so I'm gonna click on page. I'm gonna click on my blog, and I'm gonna choose a category. And then this is gonna actually pull that specific category from my blog. So this is quite a common thing to have in a drop-down menu, is a bunch of different blog categories, but really you can add whatever you want. The only difference with Squarespace 7.0 is that when you add a folder, you can only drag some sort of pages into it. So you can drag everything but index pages. So it depends on what sort of template you're using on Squarespace 7.0 because not all 7.0 websites have index pages. But if you are using index pages like one of these, or I should say, one of these, you'll notice that you can't actually drag it into the folder. So what you'll want to do if you do want to link to this page in the folder is you'd want to drag it into your not linked navigation, the main index page, and then in your folder you would click add page, add a link, then you're gonna click on the cog again and then you're gonna choose the page that you just moved to the not linked section. So this is a way to get a link to an index page because you can't drag the index page into the folder. So you can see now when I hover over the about me, it's kind of hard to see, but there is a drop down coming up there. And same here with your blog categories. You can see the drop down pops up there. Now a couple of important things to note. The drop down menus actually behave slightly differently template to template and version to version. So in Squarespace 7.1, they all work the same no matter the template. When you hover over the folder title here, it kind of seems like there's something to click, but if you click, it doesn't go anywhere. You actually have to click on one of the links in the drop down. So depending on what you're trying to put in your drop down, this might not be ideal because that can be a little bit annoying if you can't actually click on the main folder. So just remember that when you're creating your dropdown in Squarespace 7.1. In Squarespace 7.0 in Brine, the folder link actually goes to the first link you've added in your dropdown. So if I click on the About Me, it's actually gonna take me straight to this home section that I linked to. So again, something to consider when you're setting up your menu. And then if you have a different Squarespace 7.0 template, it will probably behave differently again. I know there's some 7.0 templates that you can actually link the folder button. So this is actually go somewhere instead of just going to home or in the case of 7.1 going absolutely nowhere. And there might be a few other variations of that too. So you just need to understand that they can behave a little bit differently depending on which template you're using. If you want to customize the color or design, in 7.1, you can go to design. If you want to edit the fonts, you'd want to come into fonts. And I believe the font just comes directly from the header settings, which will be under assign styles and site navigation. So to change the color of the dropdown, it's a little bit of a tricky one. There isn't actually a setting to change the color yet. The color is based on 
the section background color. So if you click on colors and open up your section themes and then make sure you, you click into the theme that you're actually using for the header. In this case, it's black minimal. And there's nowhere to actually change the background color of this drop down. And I'll just show you if I change the section background of the whole theme to this green color, then it will change the drop down. But you're actually changing the whole background color and you might not actually wanna do that. So there's no easy built in way to change the color of that yet. It's probably pretty simple with a bit of code, but for now, built in, it's not changeable. In Squarespace 7.0, if you wanna change your drop-down settings, head to Design, Site Styles, and scroll down until you find Header, Primary Navigation, and your folder settings here. So you can change the folder color, Right now it's set to black, so I'm gonna change it to this weird blue color just to show you. And you can do the text color too. So the text is set to white, but you can see it sort of shows up gray. And that's just because the style is on spotlight. But if we just change it to plain or fade, you'll see that it will go white and then it will go to that gray when you hover over it. It's just a fade. It's just like a link style feature. And for the fonts, again, those are just based on the header primary navigation fonts. So as soon as you change those, everything will change in the menu too. Cool, and that's all I've got for adding header drop-down menus in your navigation. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and thanks for watching. Bye.